I think first thing is what is the cupola? The cupola is the term for the window. It's six, uh, you know, kind of hexagon, six sides, and then another window on top, so seven windows um, surrounded by, of course, metal, but they're fairly good sized windows. So you kind of get a 360 degree view of the earth. It's actually located on the bottom of one of our node, node threes, one of our modules. So it's most of the time earth pointing, and it is a spec spectacular view. Uh, the Aurora Borealis, you know, where the, the Van Allen belts route the nasty stuff coming from the sun, the gamma rays and whatnot, to the poles, and it re-enters the atmosphere, and it interacts with the with oxygen molecules, and it gets this green glow or red glow, depending on how high or how low in the atmosphere it is. And being able to see those and actually literally fly through the middle of it, it's just, it's just absolutely spectacular views. The Bahamas, the Swiss Alps, uh, that western United States, eastern United States, nighttime, uh, lightning showers as you go across Central Africa, just absolutely mesmerizing. We, we spent a lot of time in the military over in the Middle East and I love flying over Africa, the Middle East, and you can see sandstorms. You can look look out beyond and see perfectly clear sky and then where you see a sandstorm, sometimes they get up so high in the atmosphere it looks like almost like pollution covering mm. that whole horizon but in the end it's just sand. And there were a few times where we would come over Brazil and over the Atlantic Ocean and it would be hazy and the, and the whole Atlantic Ocean would look hazy. And it would turn out it's a sandstorm in Africa, in the right. Sahara Desert. And it's bringing sand and pushing it all the way across the Atlantic and dropping it in Brazil. Right. And that made me feel pretty small. Yeah, no that tell. made me feel like our Earth is this machine and it's reconfiguring itself. And yeah. uh, it was just amazing. Like someday you wa wake up, walk to the flight deck in the Atlantic and it's covered in sand and you have no idea how it got there could be coming from the Sahara Desert of all places. I mean, it just it blew me away. <laughs> yeah, and coming back, um, it, it didn't really change my perspective. I've always seen the beauty of the, you know, of the, the Earth and the creation of the Earth. It's just mesmerizing, whether you're at, at the space vantage point and looking down or even being up close and seeing it's something like a flower. It's just, you know, it's overwhelming at times, regardless of where you are. I, I guess, I, you know, we're getting long-winded on the answer here, but one thing I should point out is, there are things that are more beautiful from Earth than from space. Like when you're on when you're on that ship and you're in the middle of the Pacific and there is no land around, those sunsets are ridiculous to me. Yeah. And when you're in space, you don't get that. You don't get the pink glow. Yeah. You know, you kind of miss those sorts of beautiful Earth moments. So there were things that I, I liked seeing more from below. But overall, there's a million things that are fun to see from space looking down. You're here. <laughs>